Hey guys, I'm Kamen Rider Silver, and today we're going to be reviewing the Bandai Movie Monster Series Godzilla Monster Planet Vinyl Figure. This is an awesome figure. I haven't seen the uh, Godzilla Monster Planet anime yet. It hasn't come out on Netflix uh, for America. I don't think it's coming out till 2018, which is very soon. Um, but I've heard it's a good movie. And I can't wait to watch it, and I think this is a great representation of what he looks like in the movie. So, let's take a look at him. Now, before we take a look at Godzilla, we'll take a look at his packaging. The only, uh, kind of, I don't know, price tag he has on him, any kind of indication that it's not just a loose figure, it's his tag. Oof. It's bright. Look at that. Very nice. See that concept art of Godzilla? Annie Goji that people are calling him. I hate when people call him Groopzilla. It's just, I don't think he's completely a plant. But you can see Godzilla right there. Now this is what I think really looks like 2014 Godzilla. Now looking at Godzilla in hand, he doesn't quite look like 2014, but I'll get to that in my opinion. So there it is, got some kanji right there. It says 2017, Godzilla 2017. Of course you got that. Godzilla licensing picture with the uh, 1962 Godzilla on the back there's some, some some more of his spines it doesn't quite match up with this picture but it's cool it says Godzilla Bandai movie monster series on the inside there's a bunch of kanji there's the classic Godzilla logo um, it's on the back of every Godzilla movie ever there's a QR code if you want to scan that take a screenshot I don't know what it does. And there's the figure in the outline, I think. So, very cool. Let's move on to the figure. Now let's take a look at this beauty of a figure. I don't own the Shin Godzilla vinyl, but I can already tell from the reviews I've seen, this is definitely a step up. It, it doesn't have, don't get me wrong, it doesn't have a lot of paint, but where it's used is used very nicely and kind of adds to the anime touch of it. Look at this. First off, I want to talk about this sculpt. Look at this. All kinds of wrinkles. I really like these neck muscles right here. The face looks amazing. Love the eye in there. Just a nice blue dot. The mouth looks nice. Looks like what we've seen from the movie. The arms. I like that. Nice little claws. The belly. That's that's really, really nice. All kinds of muscles and armor plating. Though, like I said, I don't think he's completely plant. I think he is partially plant. So, I do kind of like that touch of maybe looking a little bit like a kind of bark skin, kind of natural. Legs look nice. I have to say they do get kind of skinny around the... Uh, the bottom portion right here at the caps, it's kind of skinny. And the feet are like something I've never seen before. I mean, they're not the uh, elephant cankles that 2014 had, but very nice. I love the toenails in there. Tail's nice and long. Look at that. Uh, talking about paint, I want to go to the chest first. I really like what they've done with the black recessed in the... In the abdomen the hands so this is all over the figure on kind of the more extremities there's there's a like little silver sparkly glitter in there so if you look at the head you can see all that glitter up in the head and then if you look at the arms what I really like is that it gets glossy right here so it doesn't just look like vinyl it looks almost like hard plastic and there's more of that sprinkled uh, glitter you can see some right here and then once again on the extremities right here on the foot, you can see more of that. And then on the tail, it's just covered in it. It's so great. And I don't see any on my fingers, so that's always a good day when you don't get glitter on you. Paint looks awesome. Uh, another one of those kind of glossy, almost hard plastic looking paint apps up here on the spikes. Really uh, gives a contrast to the vinyl. And just looks amazing. Toenails are painted very nicely. Just a great, great looking figure. Now articulation on this vinyl is what you should expect from a vinyl. Actually, maybe a little bit more. Um, 
the tail. That's kind of a weird place to start, but it does swivel a little bit. It's kind of cool. The arms go 360. Boom. And the legs kick forward and back, but you know, they kind of I don't know, they kind of go sideways. They don't really go forward, straight forward. They kind of arc out a little bit. But a little bit more articulation than I expected, but, I mean, the articulation really does nothing except if you want his arms a little bit more forward, a little more backwards. But the tail and the legs don't really add too much. But, you know, it's a nice touch. I like it. Now, scaling Godzilla up, of course, this Godzilla, uh, when he starts out in the movie, he's 50 meters tall, as big as the... 1954 Godzilla, but at the end when they're fighting him, or towards the middle when they come back to Earth, he's 300 meters tall. If I said 50 feet before, I meant 50 meters. I don't, I don't, I don't quite remember what I said. But, of course, this figure is not going to be in scale with the other figures because he's three times the size. But anyways, he's about a seven and three quarter inch vinyl, and he measures from the tip of his tail to his nose, he measures about 13 inches. Very cool, very cool. Posing him or standing him alongside the one that we all thought he was copying, here is 2014 Godzilla. And having them in hand, he's very different. He does um, have some of those aspects of the smaller head and the uh, long kind of tail, but I mean, they all do. But the tail that sticks kind of straight out he does have similar aspects, but looking, this one's very much more amphibian and uh, aquatic, where this one looks more almost dragon mystical. I don't know. As you can see, he almost is like an inch taller than this NECA Godzilla, which is pretty crazy. Um, once again, not in scale, either one of his forms, <laughs> but still, I think it looks cool alongside this NECA Godzilla. So there you go guys, there was a look at the Bandai Movie Monster Series Godzilla Monster Planet Vinyl. This is an awesome looking figure. Despite not having that much articulation, it definitely makes up for it in paint. I have him displayed right here with the Gashapon of Garuda. I know that's not going to be in Godzilla Monster Planet, but I know they do use spaceships to fight him. So I put this alongside of him and it'll make a great thumbnail. So definitely pick him up if you like this new Godzilla. Uh, he's not too expensive, unlike the Shin Godzilla that skyrocketed in price when the movie came out. He's only about 25 right now, if I remember, and he's a great figure. So, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!